Our new Eye on Money series takes on the financial matters you care about most. As the summer winds down and millions of kids return to school, people are refocusing on work and money. A recent poll shows more than half of Americans rate their personal finances as only fair or poor. Mm. So it's more important than ever to learn how to improve your situation. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger is here. Jill, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so if you're looking to get your finances in order, where do you start? I always like to start with something I call the big three. The first thing is we want to start talking about credit card debt. We've done a good job. We've whittled it down. But there's still about $900 billion of outstanding credit card debt. And about a third of people who hold debt, they have balances that they're carrying forward. So we really want to push that credit card debt down. Also pay off those auto loans and any expensive student loans as well. And what about emergency funds? Yeah, this is a very important. About 56% of Americans say they feel like they're falling b behind financially. I think some of that has to do with having depleted their emergency reserves. We want people with 6 to 12 months of their living wow. expenses. That's yeah. Wow. And wait a second. Retirees, I want 12 to 24 months because you have to be able to ride out bad times. The only way you can do Who that. Who can do that, Jill? Well, well, you know, it's an aspiration. We don't yeah, say you have to do no it immediately. Kidding, yeah. But that would be, you know, if you think back to the financial crisis, if people had bigger nest eggs, they probably wouldn't have had to go in and plunder through their retirement accounts. Yeah, the interesting thing is that too few people have a budget and take a serious look at retirement. <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, without that, it is really impossible to know what you can save. So one of the things we talk about is looking at the way you spend money. Because what you're trying to do is, I know there's big categories. There's housing, there's food, there's transportation, but there are discretionary items. You want to look at those discretionary items, find how you can free up some money, not only to pay down the debt, mm -hmm. establish your emergency reserve fund, but I want you to use your retirement accounts. We have so few people saving for retirement, and this is really going to become a bigger issue, especially as and the millennials get older. Get older. Right. So you've got your financial priorities all set, and then you say now you should turn your eye on insurance. I know. I, people hate to talk about this. Yeah. A lot of times with homeowners or renters insurance people really underinsure and then they find out after a horrible event I don't have enough insurance mm -hmm. and so that or is they a, put in a claim and it's denied exactly yeah. so one of the things we want to talk about is make sure that you're not just shopping for price and compare apples to apples be careful about that when it comes to life insurance I have to stress this so many people are underinsured we're talking about families who have needs one of the best things you can do is start with how much insurance that you calculate your need and you can do that at lifehappens.org and also please do your estate planning documents in your last minutes please a will a guardianship some powers of attorney health care proxy do you have eight hours later today to do 